What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today, we are back here with my T20 World Cup squad for 2024 prediction for Team India here today. We're going to be running through my 18-man squad, including the three reserves for the team. I think that's how it works. 15-man squad, and then you get three emergencies to kind of, just in case you need to replace anyone. But hey, we're going to jump straight into this one. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and comment down below, most importantly, on this video, your entire World Cup squad, the 15-man squad, including including your three emergency um, who end up traveling to the USA and to the West Indies for the World Cup, which ends up starting in June, I believe. So it's pretty soon. Essentially, you get a small little window after the IPL and then it's straight into the World Cup. It's going to be massive. I can't wait. And I do believe that India will announce their official squad in the coming days. So I thought, why would I not jump on here, give my predictions and what I hope, and we're gonna get straight into it. Subscribe if you're new, I've already said that. Let's go, just remember in the comments as well, if I don't pick your favorite player, it doesn't mean that I have, you know, an agenda or something against them. It's just purely, you can't put everyone in the team. And we all have opinions, we all watch cricket, and that's the fun of it. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, first cab off the rank now, the captain, the easiest choice of them all, Rohit Sharma. Yeah, I, do I really need to say much? Let's keep going, that was an easy choice. In, this isn't in the order of the 11, by the way, but at the end of the video, I will give you my predicted 11, but this is just who I think will be in the squad. Virat Kohli, again, look, there has been some chatter about, you know, potentially leaving the man out or, you know, his strike rate's been a little bit worrying. But at the end of the day, he's been playing franchise cricket for one of the most depressing, saddest domestic teams in the IPL. He's had them on his shoulders. I don't really look into the strike rate that much. I think he's done pretty well. There's been a few little performances here and there that have been a little bit slow, but... This is Virat Kohli. Like, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm going into a World Cup and I'm Team India, I am, I'm, I'm picking the best player that we've probably had in the last 15, 20 years that has won matches off his own bat. I mean, we only have to think back to the T20 World Cup in 2022 and what he did to Pakistan on the biggest stage of them all. Like, it's the biggest no-brainer for me. He's leading the orange cap in the IPL. He's in good form. Easy choice for me. Look, I understand people are going to speculate, but as an opposition, as an Australian, if we went into a, into a World Cup final against India and I knew that Coley wasn't playing, I would be licking my lips. That would make me happy as an opposition fan. So, uh, yeah, that's an easy one there. Let's keep going into the third person, Jaiswal. I was a little bit 50-50, you know, his direct opposition for this opening spot with Rohit Sharma is probably Shukman Gill, but he definitely has that edge for me. He, he Look, he's, he's just a young superstar. We've already seen what he can do on the international level. Doesn't look frightened by the occasion. Um, and I think he's going to excel at the World Cup. He started the IPL season a little bit slow, but he's come into some pretty good form. That's an easy one. Surya Kumar Yadav, I think he was probably everyone's first picked player in the squad. Um, you know, look, has he... He's coming back from a pretty long-term injury. He's played a few good little IPL games, uh, but look, it's Surya Kumar Yadav. He's probably the most destructive T20 player in the world when he's going. So yeah, that's an easy one. Slot him in at number four. Into the next position, this could be not controversial, but I think this just has to be an absolute certainty in the squad. Shivam Dubey, my birthday twin, shout out 26th of June. The CSK product, Dala for a reason. Do I need to say much more? No, look, of course. <laughs> uh, just a destructive middle order batsman that can literally change the game in about 20 deliveries. Look, does he potentially get exposed with a little bit of footwork um, on the pitches that might do a little bit in the USA, potentially, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a worry. 
he's he, he he's done this his entire career. He's showing what form he in he is in. Sorry, um, you're probably not expecting him to bowl if you do pick him, which is the only thing, the only negative with his selection is that if you picked him over, let's say Hardik Pandya, are you getting the same impact with the ball? That's my only my only thought there. Can you play him as a solo batsman? In my opinion, he's in the squad. I don't know about the 11. We'll figure that out at the end. But this is, again, another match winner, a left-hander, someone who can seriously, I think, just give India something completely different in that middle order that they haven't actually seen for a, for a while. So... I like that. That would be a good pick, but he's in my squad. And this one was was pretty simple for me. Sanju Sampson, the first choice wicketkeeper for the team. He would be in my 11. And like, I don't understand. If India do not pick Sanju Sampson, it's over. Like he should actually move country, get citizenship for a different team and start playing international cricket somewhere else because... Like, he is too good of a player to consistently just not even be in squads, not even be in the forefront of the selector's mind. So, by the sounds of it, he should be in the squad. Um, But is that going to be as an emergency, as the starting wicketkeeper? I don't know. But he's been awesome this season, the most consistent he's ever shown to be. He's in my team absolutely every day of the week at the moment. Let's move on. So we've got the other wicketkeeper who would be... I don't know if you can play Sanju and Rishabh in the exact same 11. I think both of them are the first choice keepers in the squad. But can you play both in the 11? I think Rishabh is more of a impact player at the right time when I think Sanju can probably fit all sort of scenarios, like if the team is two for 140 or if the team is, you know, four down after the power play. Like I think Sanju can kind of play both both scenarios where I think Rishab at the World Cup, his only role would be to try and smack everything to the boundary and not really giving a crap about trying to stay out there. So... That would be my only thought. Let me know what you guys and what part you stand on. Rishab or Sanju? Or would you just like to see the man Dhoni or DK brought back into the squad? That would be quite insane um, to think about. But I think both will be in the squad. The 11? I'm unsure, but it would be pretty cool to see. The next guy, Jadeja. I don't need to say anything else about that. He's the best all-rounder in the world. Let's keep going. Now, this is not the best all-rounder in the world. This is someone who has kind of gotten on my nerves (laughs) and probably a lot of other people in the last eight months. Um, You know, look, I think he played a pretty good role at the ODI World Cup until he got injured, of course, and was, was doing quite well, I thought. This IPL, he's been genuinely terrible let's like let's be honest we're not here to beat around the bush he has been pretty bad this IPL season but you just can't forget everything that he's done on the international level before he's saved India a few times with the bat he's provided a steady option with the ball my only thought is if he's not going to bowl He's not any. He's he he is not anywhere near my squad if he's not going to bowl. But if he is going to bowl two overs a game at least, he's in the eleven. I just think that you need someone who's going to bowl a batting all rounder. Um, and India, they don't really have a hell of a lot of options who can bowl you two to three overs, but also bat five, six, seven. So they definitely are looking out for a few more guys, but. Um, I think he'll be in and around it, obviously, the vice captain. I don't know why this photo is so small, but Jasper Bumrah, the best bowler in the world. Don't need to say anything more. The man, the myth, the legend is in there. Ash Deep Singh, Punjab Kings legend. I think this just goes without saying again. He hasn't been amazing in the IPL, but we've seen what he can already bring at the international level. Showed it in 2022 World Cup on the biggest stage, under pressure, on debut. He was awesome. You know, like, 
I think this is a pretty obvious one here. The bowling unit is a little bit unsure for me. Now, as you can see, or if you don't know players by their appearance, this is Sandeep Sharma, another Punjab Kings legend. Don't, don't you forget that, but he's in my team. I think he's in my 11 as well uh, for the World Cup. I just think he brings something completely different. They don't have Muhammad Shami, who, of course, is a massive loss. The Sham God, he's probably my favorite Indian bowler or player, almost the Sham God. So it's going to suck that they're missing him. But my thought is, who is the closest to a Muhammad Shami replacement? And I think it's this guy. I'm thinking it's not Siraj. It's not... Nataraj, and I mean, he's a left-handed bowler, so that's not really the same either. I think this guy is probably the best option um, to be that third seamer. I think he brings something a little bit different as well. I think he can... Yeah, give you give you something really, really positive. I don't think many batsmen across the world would have, you know, seen him or known his technique. So he'll come into the World Cup a little bit of like a an un, un, unknown. He's been around for forever. Let's be honest. The man's been around for a decade, but hasn't really cracked in international level wise. I can't think of any better time and place than than the World Cup, um, and just to just to birth the man on the international level. So I think he should be at least in the squad. He's only played like four to five games this season, but he's been terrific. So he's in my team. Let's go. I don't know why the photos keep zooming in like that, but cool, deep Yadav, the spin master. He's in my team. He's in my 11. I think he's still the first choice spinner easily, but Yuzi Chahal would feel pretty hard done by not to be a part of it, but we got the man cool deep. Now, this one brings me a lot of joy, guys. You guys, <laughs> if you're someone who is new to the channel, welcome, subscribe. But if you're an avid watcher of this channel, you know this man has, has already a special place in our heart. He's done some incredible things. He's a lovable guy. He's humble. He just seems like someone you'd want to be friends with. And what also helps is that he is an incredible cricket player. Has had a few little interesting patches, you know, a little bit up and down. Hasn't been given enough opportunity at KKR this season really to bat. He was playing at number three last night, didn't work out, but I still think he is one of the most dominant finishers India can have in a World Cup scenario, at least in T20 cricket. If if the team is, you know, seven or let's say five for 160 and you're trying to push towards 200, I couldn't, I couldn't think of many better players than India right now than this guy to try and go out there and advance it to 200. So him, Dubai, Surya, Sanju, I think they all fit that role beautifully. So um, maybe not in the 11, but at least on the bench. You know, he brings a, a good amount of morale. And I believe this is my, my last World Cup position player of the 15-man squad. I probably should have counted them out. I think this is my number 15 player for the squad. I'll figure it out when I edit the video. We will get into my three bench players after this, and we'll talk about it. So, my last player of the squad is... Okay, I need to stop zooming out and playing with it. Is this man, Natarajan. Now, he's been... Firstly, he's been really good in the World Cup. It was between him and a Mikesh Kumar, a Siraj. But I think... You don't need another right arm seamer. He's a left armer. He's provided something a pretty, pretty good this year for SRH. Has always had those inconsistent troubles with his body, injuries, just being left out of certain teams, but has shown this year that he can still do it at the best level. And I think would just bring something a bit different into that bowling unit. Left-handed, change of pace, good Yorkers. I don't see why you wouldn't really give him a shot. Can bowl really well down, down the stretch. I think he's a worthy inclusion. I just, yeah, I don't understand if why you would bother picking a Siraj, a Mikesh Kumar, an Avesh Khan, you know, just another right arm seamer who would be the same as the other guys. I guess Arshdeep's a left-handed, but, you know, if you're going to pick Sandeep, Bumrah, and then Siraj maybe, 
Makesh, they're all right armors. So something a bit different. I'd love to see him a part of it. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much more to that one. And let me know what you think of my 15 man squad there. Is there any crazy inclusions, any crazy people that I've left out? Let me know what you think. Now let's get into my bench. So the first guy that I would sit on the bench here is Rutaraj Gaikwad. I just think he's coming into form at the perfect time. He's gaining a lot of leadership um, qualities and experience, reading the game, knowing what's the right play at the right time. Just little important things that you learn across the way. He's also being mentored by Dhoni, so... That's probably someone you want a part of the squad, don't you? I just think he can easily sit on the bench. And if Jice Wall doesn't work out, or if Coley or Sharma, if neither of them can make runs, you've got a ready-made, experienced player who's in good form to replace. So that would be my choice there. Into the second guy, Axar Patel. He just, look, Jadeja's still in front of him. I just think it's always going to be that way. But, of course, he is the next choice spinning all-rounder. He's pretty, he's been pretty good with the bat. He's, of course, more of a bowler. So that would be my, yeah, I think Axar Patel. I can't think of anyone else that's a, an all-round spinner that's going to do a better job. So that would be that. And my last bench spot. Now, this, this came with great confusion to me because I was unsure if I was going to pick this man, KL Rahul. It was between Yuzi, KL, Shashank Singh. Um, there was a few other names. I think I've got it on my phone here. Let's have a look. Hold on. I wrote this in my, my notes last night. Oh, Tushar Deshpande. I, I, was, I almost included him. Tushar, um, Yuzi, Bishnoi, Siraj, Shukman Gill. Obviously, that's a big non-inclusion. But I think if you're going to have two wicket keepers, Sanju, Rishab, it's probably best just to have one sitting there on the bench in case. And at least you know you've got one in KL Rahul. You know what you're going to get from him. He, we've seen it before. T20 cricket. Not exactly his strongest format, but he's looked pretty good this IPL season. He knows what to do. He knows he's been the vice captain before, knows what's going to go on, um, and I think still would be a somewhat worthy inclusion on the bench. But hey, that will officially cap us off. I'm just going to read out my starting 11 here. I should have written this down, but I've got it here on my phone Okay, let's just enlarge this photo. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. All right, let's go through my 11 right here. Briefly, obviously, a few things can change depending on conditions, pitch, um, fitness, all of that good stuff. But this is how I would probably line up. Jaiswal, Rohit Sharma, Kohli, Surya, Sanju, Dubé, Jadeja, Bumrah, Arshdeep, Kuldeep, and then Sandeep. Of course, depending on the spin, depending on... The pitch, you can easily take out an all-rounder, add an extra bowler, or you can do the same thing, take out a bowler, add in an extra all-rounder per se. But that's going to be my squad for the T20 World Cup for Team India. Let me know what you're thinking. Is there any crazy things that I've left out? Be honest. I can hear it all. Just remember, it's all just opinion-based at the end of the day. And honestly, I tried my best to try and get into the selector's mind and think what team they're going to pick as well. So this is my best shot at that. Let me know it all down in the comments. I hope we all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. If there's any other countries that you'd like to see me do a squad review or a predicted 11, let me know. We'll get into it all uh, pretty much soon after the IPL. But I hope we all enjoyed and I'll see everyone in the next one.